What's good, YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? Be March with another boxing video. So, July 20th, out of Osaka, Japan, the IBF has sanctioned the number one and the number two contender to fight for the vacant IBF Super Bantamweight strap, 122 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Um, the number one contender is a guy out of Japan by the name of Shingo Wake. Shingo Wake is 20 and four with 12 KOs and two draws. You know what I'm saying? And he's a guy who um, he's never been a world titleist holder. You know what I'm saying? But um, he, his last loss was in 2012, and he's won 10 straight ever since um, 2012. You know what I'm saying? And he's fighting the KO artist out of the Dominican, a guy by the name of Jonathan Guzman. Uh, Jonathan Guzman is Juan Guzman's little brother. You know, Juan Guzman, Juan Guzman was a world titleist holder back in um, the mid-2000s, you know what I'm saying? He was a champion at uh, featherweight and super featherweight, you know what I'm saying? And he got a vacant... He got a vacant um, lightweight strap, but um, the way he got that fight was pretty. Con the way he got that belt was controversial. Anyways, this ain't about him. This is about his younger brother, Jonathan Guzman, a KO artist by the by 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 all by the all means necessary. This man, Jonathan Guzman, is a KO artist. He's 21 and 0. With 21 KOs, you know what I'm saying? He's a guy of the Dominican. And I think he's based out of Brooklyn, New York, right, right about now. You know, I'm not too sure, but I think he is. You know, he's definitely fighting in the States. He's fought in the States uh, the last four, five, about one, two. He's fought in the States the last five fights, you know what I'm saying? But this particular fight is going to be in Osaka, Japan. You know what I'm saying? On July 20th, you know? And um, I think it's going to be a good fight, man. You know, this particular belt is vacant. This is a belt that uh, Carl, Fram Carl Frampton left behind, you know what I'm saying? He vacated it when he moved up to 126. And Carl Frampton got the belt when he beat the Spaniard uh, Kiko Martinez, you know what I'm saying? And that's how he got this belt. And um, Carl Frampton had unified straps with, um, what's his name? The guy, Scott Quigg out of England, you know what I'm saying, for the W. He, um, Scott Quick brought the WBA belt and um what's his name? Carl Frampton had the IBF belt and he um he unified and he he basically ran out the division because he didn't want to fight uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux, you know what I'm saying? So this man Jonathan Guzman is in is in uh is in contention for this title. So July twentieth, his dreams his his dreams could come true. He could become a world champ. And the same goes for Shingo Wake, a guy out of Japan. You know what I'm saying? And um, it'd be interesting to see who wins this fight. You know what I mean? And uh, the man Rigondeaux, he's a title holder in um, the W uh, the 122 pound. You know what I'm saying? He got the WBA belt. Uh, the man Hugo Ruiz, um, Hugo Ruiz, if I ain't mistaken, he's a guy who has a WBC belt. And what other strap is left? WBO. I'm not too sure who has that belt. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it'll be interesting to see Jonathan Guzman traveling out to the far, the far east. You know, to try to pick up a vacant title in uh, Shingo, Shingo Wake's home country. You know. So, um, this fight will definitely be on, I'm not sure where, but I'll definitely, hopefully check it out. If I don't catch it alive, I'll hopefully, hopefully get to see it here on YouTube. So, July 20th, Shingo Wake, number one contender for the IBF Super Bantamweight Strap, faces the number two contender, Jonathan Guzman. Alright, y'all, that's my video. Let me know what you guys think about this fight, you know what I'm saying? Who do you think will win this fight? Um, you know... I'm probably gonna. I'm thinking of you know early prediction. I'm thinking I'm um, probably pick. I would pick up, uh, put my money on the man Juan um, Jonathan Guzman. You know what I'm saying? I seen his last few fights and uh, this kid is impressive. You know what I'm saying? He stopped everybody he's fought and he's never gone past the past the tenth round. You know what I'm saying? No opponent has seen past the tenth round against him. So, hey man, this guy I think is the real deal. But we'll find out if he's ready for this challenge on the on July twentieth. Alright, fellas, guys, let me know who you, who's going to win this fight. You know what I'm saying? Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And please subscribe. Be Marsh Boxing. Peace.